Mark and Jane got married and flew off to a paradise island to spend their honeymoon there. But something went wrong. After the couple checked into their hotel, Jane suddenly disappeared. The hotel owner announced that Mark would have to play a game to get his wife back. If he won, they'd get a big cash prize that would cover the cost of their honeymoon. Mark had to agree. The host gave him a special jacket and said, Tomorrow at sunrise, you'll only have time till sunset to finish all the tasks and save your wife. Mark will need your help to solve all the riddles and get his wife back, so stick around to help him. The next day at sunrise, Mark finds himself near the entrance of a huge labyrinth. Its walls are way taller than the guy, and there's no way to know where to go. Mark is worried that once he walks in, he won't be able to find his way out. How can he escape the labyrinth without getting lost and wasting too much time? There's one strategy to escape any labyrinth. Mark should put his right hand on the right wall and go forward, touching it at all times. He'll be walking into dead ends along the way, but if he follows the right wall, he'll get out of them and will eventually find his way out of the labyrinth. So, Mark walks in. Several minutes later, Mark takes another turn and sees a guard standing in his way. Sorry, but you have to solve my riddle if you want to come through. What is that thing you have to break before you can use it? Do you have something in mind? That's an egg! The guard says nothing, just moves to the side, letting Mark pass. Again, his right hand on the right wall. He's moving further. 20 minutes later, the guy sees a locked door on his way. There are five buttons on the door, but only one of them will let Mark pass. If he chooses the wrong one, the door will get blocked until sunset and he won't be able to save his wife. So, choose carefully. Which button will let him in? There's something special about almost all these buttons. The first one, unlike others, doesn't have an outline. The second one is of a different shape. The third button is of a different color. And the last one is smaller than all the others. Only the fourth button doesn't have any distinctions. That's what makes it one of a kind. I bet Mark should press that one. And it's the right button. The door clicks open and Mark steps through. His right hand is on the wall and off he goes. Apparently, it's time for breakfast. Mark comes up to the table. There are three apples, but only one of them is safe to eat. The other two are poisonous. Unfortunately, Mark can't skip breakfast. Which apple should he eat? Look, this apple has a caterpillar in it. It means there's no poison in the fruit, and it's safe to eat. 20 minutes later, there are two more doors on Mark's way. He has to pick one of them. The first door is the way out, and the second one will take him back to the labyrinth. Which door should he choose? Look, there's some light coming from under the door. It must be the way out. Mark puts his hand on the doorknob, and it's the right choice. He's out, and a thick forest surrounds him. The view is beautiful, but he should get moving. He's running out of time. Where should he go next? He sees three signs, but the letters are mixed up. Can you figure out which way Mark should choose? These signs are hints. If you put the letters on them in the correct order, the first sign will turn into right way, the second one into wrong way, and the last one will be wronger way, which is grammatically incorrect. Anyways, I guess Mark should opt for the left direction. Sometime later, Mark stumbles across a big old castle. He should enter it and see what's happening there. 
He comes up to the door, but it's locked. It requires a password. Here's a sequence of numbers. Four more digits must be added to it. Can you guess which ones? One plus three is four. Three plus four is seven. Four plus seven is eleven. Then seven plus eleven is eighteen. So the next digits are two and nine. Twenty-nine. Because that's eleven plus eighteen, and eighteen plus twenty-nine gives us forty-seven, which is four and seven. The password is two nine four seven, and this is the right answer. The door clicks open, and Mark walks into a dark and dusty corridor. But once he takes a step, he moves a string on the floor, and a metal cage falls down, trapping him inside. Luckily, there's a way to deal with it. On the wall, the guy sees three buttons and an instruction. If Mark presses the blue button, the cage will be filled with water and will only open in ten minutes. Just an FYI, the average person can survive without air for three to four minutes at most. The green button will open all the cages at the same time. But look around; there's one more cage in the room, and inside that cage, a hungry wolf is pacing. The orange button will make the floor of the cage disappear, and Mark will fall into a hole filled with hungry alligators. What is the guy's best choice? Seriously, there's no need to try anything risky. If Mark hits the blue button, the water will just go through the bars of the cage, and in ten minutes, Mark will be free to go. Soon, the cage opens. Mark sees a long corridor with many turns. Mark's task is to figure out which turn is the one he needs. But it's not that hard. The guy is actually inside an art gallery with paintings on the wall. After every turn, he can see two pictures. Mark should just follow the original paintings. He will need your help to tell them apart. Okay, here's the first one. Which one is the original? Both paintings seem to be *The Starry Night* by Van Gogh. But look, in one of these pictures, there's a couple of planes in the sky. Van Gogh definitely didn't paint that. So this one must be the replica. So Mark should better choose the other turn. Another turn, another choice. This time, it's "Girl with a Pearl Earring" by Johannes Vermeer. Which one is the original? I don't think the girl in the real masterpiece had a nose piercing. So the painting on the right is fake. And Mark should turn left. But surely you know this one, Mona Lisa by Leonardo da Vinci. But one of the paintings is really messed up. Can you spot the difference? Look, in the right picture, you can see some cars on the road behind the woman's back. I think Mark should turn left. This is *The Persistence of Memory* by Salvador Dali. Which painting is a replica? It's the one on the left. I don't think a melted modern smartphone belongs there. Turn right. And one more choice to make. It's *American Gothic* by Grant Wood. Look closely and help Mark choose. The man in the right picture has tattoos on his knuckles, which makes the painting fake. So Mark should turn left. He finds himself in a dark hallway lit by several torches. There are three doors. Each of them can lead Mark to the place he needs. But behind each door, there's something dangerous. The instruction on the wall says that behind the first one, there's an iron block equipped with a movement sensor. It crushes everyone who enters. Behind the second door, there's an electric shocker that never misses. 
Behind the third door, there's shattered glass all over the floor. Which way should Mark choose? He should pick the third door. He's wearing a pair of shoes, right? So the glass isn't going to be a big problem. Finally, Mark sees his wife. She's trapped in an aquarium, and soon she's going to run out of oxygen. But the main problem? There are two aquariums and two women. Both unconscious and absolutely the same. Mark has to figure out who the real Jane is, and he only has one attempt. Which woman is his wife? Look, one of the women has an M tattooed on her wrist. M stands for Mark. It must be the guy's wife. He rushed towards her and takes her out of the water. Half a minute later, she comes back to her senses. They have to get out now. Once again, there are three ways out. Behind the first door, there is a hungry wolf. Behind the second door, the floor is burning. This time, wearing shoes can't help much. Behind the third door, the room is filled with toxic gas. How can the couple get out? The floor is burning, so they have an aquarium full of water. The fire isn't that huge, so this amount of water should be enough to stop it. It's the right choice. Mark and Jane walk out the second door and run towards the exit they see in front of them. On the way out, there's a guard. Congratulations, you've completed the quest. But I will only let you out if you solve my last riddle. There's something that Saturn, Uranus, Venus, and Mars have that Earth doesn't. What is that? It's the letter S. As simple as that.